Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Wow, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah All right <clears throat> Tell you what, there's no better feeling than coming back to your room and having it nice and clean. And that's exactly what I've experienced this morning. So guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm on day number nine of my stay here in Thailand, of my training holiday here in Thailand. Today's day number nine. Uh, it's a Tuesday. We started Monday last week. Today, I'm happy to say I did my first full morning of training. Now this is a full morning that I've wanted to do for the whole entire time I've been here. It's just, honestly, I've either been too tired after my first session or too pussy. No fucking shit. The sport that I'm into the most. Oh, fuck. We haven't talked about Fury and Wilder. Fury. <laughs> so if you've watched the videos leading up to this one, you will know how excited I was for that fight. It lived up to expectation. It lived up to the hype. Tyson Fury is the actual man. He is amazing, man. As a human being, the things that come out of his mouth are just incredible. You know, he's, he's always happy-go-lucky. And then he went in the ring and did that to the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Wow. Wow wee. I tell you what, I went to Hooters, which is a, a very a world-famous bar that's around all, all, all different places in the world. I went to Hooters, they had it on. I was the loudest person in the room. It was pretty quiet to be fair, but I was fucking loud. Every single right hand that Fury got in there, I was getting off, off my seat and like, oh my God, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. I would have loved to have watched it with a big group of friends that were into it as well, but I was by myself. I had about three beers by the time it was finished. And then I enjoyed the rest of the day. So this morning, I'm happy to say I went to my 8 to 10 Muay Thai class and then I went to my 10.30 to 11.30 Western Boxing class. And that was good. It was extremely packed. There was about 50 people there. We split into half, beginners and then amateurs and professionals. I was in the beginners. We just practiced jabbing. We practiced a jab and then get out of the way of a, of a straight right and then come in with a right hand and then a left hook and then step away with three more jabs so it was a jab out boom 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 something like that <laughs> but like the first thing they ask you to do right is shadow boxing okay three rounds of three minutes shadow boxing and i'm thinking well you guys haven't even taught me anything yet but you know thank god i've, I've done a little bit of shadow boxing in the mirror so i could actually you know put my wraps on and start doing shadow boxing i probably didn't look that out of place but you know, it, this is my first ever, you know, proper boxing lesson here in Thailand and, and I really enjoyed it. It was only an hour long, you know, considering that the Muay Thai classes are two hours long, this seems like it went like that. There you go. Three hours of training, just like that. Three hours of striking training, which is what I love more than almost anything in the world except for my family and my daughters. So guys, um, what do we got to say? I do have a nice little injury across my neck from clinching this morning. We did clinching sparring and the guy that I went up against was going way too hard but I didn't say anything and in one of the last clinches that we sort of did he scratched my neck with his nails and as you can see that's probably going to hang around for a good week but I'm happy to say that my Achilles is feeling good as new I haven't been training weights. I trained weights for the first two days I got here, then I thought, nah, there's no way I'm doing that. If I'm gonna go down to Tiger Muay Thai, I'm gonna go for Muay Thai training or boxing. I'm not gonna, or kickboxing. I'm not gonna go for, for weights anymore. So I may lose a bit of muscle mass, but I feel like I'm only gonna get leaner. And as we all know, the fastest way to look bigger is actually just to lose body fat. So I'm hoping that's what happens. But anyways, um, we're just here at the hotel, chilling out. It's 12.30. Since I've been here, I've been sticking to sort of intermittent fasting, um, at least till lunchtime, if not longer. I eat basically up until I go to bed. I get up in the morning, have a coffee, 
have a shower and, and go and train. You've still got plenty of energy in your system from eating right up until the, till the time you go to bed. There's no worries about not having breakfast, in my opinion. In fact, mentally, I'm definitely sharper in the morning without you know, eating anything. In fact, I think the task of you know, preparing something, eating it, sitting down, eating something, you might get on your phone, look at social media, it really halts my you know, extreme sense of motivation that I get first thing in the morning. So I'm good, so I'm, I'm quite happy in the morning, just focusing on, on, on a small routine to get me down to training you know, with, without anything that's gonna stop me. And that's, that's what I'm gonna focus on for the, for the rest of the time I'm here. So, that was a bit of an update. Day number nine, Fury vs Wilder. Definitely lived up to expectation. Uh, my injury on my Achilles is good. I've got a new injury on my neck from clinching sparring today, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. It actually makes me feel like I've, I've got a bit of a battle scar. You know what I mean? I'm walking around the place thinking, hmm. <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I might actually kind of look like a fighter now. <laughs> but not really. Not really. We'll get there though. That's, that's the plan. Um, this Saturday, I'm really looking forward to the barbecue beatdown, which is a an event that they put on, Tiger Muay Thai puts it on, it's, it's on campus and they put together the amateur fights, whether it's Western Boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, there's three different types of, or, or kickboxing. Um, so that's this Saturday, it's the last Saturday of each month. I'm definitely going to go down and watch this, I'm really looking forward to it because basically, you know, anyone that's training at Tiger can put their hand up to be matched up with someone that's on, you know, an even skill level. Um, and, and can fight. And they're all videotaped, everyone's watching, they're all put on, put on the internet. You know, if someone really wanted to get their name out there, this would be a great first step. This weekend I'm going to go down and enjoy it, look at what the skill level's like, um, and yeah. I mean, yesterday I didn't train, but what I did do is watch a hell of a lot of fights. And I watched a whole heap of the barbecue beatdown fights. Um, I watched I watched Eternal MMA, which was, uh, I think it's an Australian-based MMA card, similar to the UFC, but obviously on a lesser scale and a lesser skill level. But um, they had one in Auckland, because the UFC was in Auckland last weekend. So not only do we have Fury and Wilder, we also had UFC Auckland, and, <laughs> and that lived up to the hype as well. Uh, there was three fighters on the card from New Zealand, all train out of Auckland, the gym that they train at, City Kickboxing, is only a kilometre away from the Spark Arena where they fought. It was literally on their home turf and all three New Zealand fighters came up with a win, including Dan Hooker who was in the main event. So Dan Hooker comes in, number 7th ranked lightweight in the UFC, wins against Paul Felder, the number 6th ranked, six ranked. And uh, you know, if you go up from there, five, four, three, two, one. There's only absolute superstars in the lightweight division, including Khabib, Connor, Tony Ferguson. You've got Justin Gaethje. Kevin Lee is about number nine, I believe. You've even got Brad Riddell, who's one of the other uh, New Zealand fighters. So he's going to be making his way up into the into the rankings. He's had two UFC fights now, both very impressive wins. And um, he's, he's a name to watch out for, Brad Quake Riddell. You've got Kai, don't blink, Cara France. You've got Brad Quake Riddell. And you've got Dan the Hangman Hooker. And I'll tell you what guys, being here, being, all of those guys have trained at Tiger by the way. Alex Volkanovsky, the champion, UFC champion, trains out of Tiger for his camps. You've got Valentina Chevchenko trains out of Tiger for her camps and a few others. Honestly, this place is just chock full of, of extremely you know, skilled and accomplished fighters and I am, I am just loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. You know, I haven't talked to that many people, I haven't really made too many friends, but you know, just looking like at any moment of the day from 6 a.m. To 8 p.m. There's there's people hitting pads. There's that noise, you know, that noise of people hitting bags, hitting pads, kicking. Aya, aya, aya. You know, it's everywhere. You're absolutely immersed in it, and that's what I wanted, and that's what any of you guys who want that can get coming over here. Now I will say that there's plenty of other Muay Thai gyms on the street. There's probably more intimate, you know, one-on-one -on -one style Muay Thai gyms. 
Um, Tiger is very, very busy. It's very popular. It's world renowned. And if, if you're coming here as a complete beginner, you just want a taste of it, like me, I think it's perfect. If you're coming here as a more experienced fighter, you want that one-on-one -on -one attention, I don't know. I don't know that it would do for you what you need it to, but you know, I'm, I'm not a fighter. Um, and so I wouldn't really know, but I think that the, just the sheer volume of trainers, you know, the, the, the sheer size of the place, it, it, it gives it a, a clear advantage over many other places. So, so that's it guys, day number nine, I'm going to have a, a nice drink of water, which, which you'll find over here is literally gold. It's liquid gold um, and you've got to make sure you have a lot of it or else you'll be struggling. I've had a few days where I've had headaches because I haven't drunk enough water. Easy fix, drink water. <laughs> uh, most of the time when I'm here, I'm, I'm in an air-conditioned room, which is quite nice. Um, and, you know, to be honest, I've come from extreme heat. I live in Alice Springs, so it's really no trouble for me. And with that being said, if you've made it to the end of this video, I want to say thank you so much for, for coming along on this ride. Thank you so much for supporting me on my channel. And if you do decide to come here, or if you're thinking about it, let me know in the comment section below or send me a message on Instagram because I'd love to hear about it. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.